Hello, it's Markham Torch Chief, Markham 3D, and today we're going to be doing this grass growing effect. As always, let's start off by deleting the default cube, shift A, mesh, plane. From here, I'm just going to scale it up a hit and press W and subdivide a few times. And the reason why is we need a lot of geometry for the dynamic painting that we're going to do. Now, I'm going to bring in some grass assets and I'm just going to use the scatter add-on. And if you want to use this add-on, the link is in the description for it. So I'm going to press N to bring in the side panel, eyedropper, let's select this, biomes manager, let's increase this. And what kind of grass assets do I want? Let's go with this nice long grass. I'm going to click on that. And if we have a look under here, we've got our grass assets. Now I'm just going to delete these proxies really quick because I don't really need them. And I'm going to select all my grass assets. Control G, create a new group. And we're just going to call this grass assets. How am I going to make this grow? What I'm going to do is kind of from the center, a ball is going to come up. And that area is how much is going to be affected. So let's start off shift A, let's create a mesh, go UV sphere, G, Z, we'll scale it up a little bit. For now, I'm just gonna leave it poking there. No, we won't. Let's actually animate it now. I'm gonna press G, Z, move it down. Press I to set in a location keyframe and then go about 180 odd frames. G, Z, and we'll put it up here. I to put in another keyframe and location. From here, we need to make this plane a, a dynamic paint canvas. Let's come over into the physics tab, dynamic paint. We want to make this a canvas, add canvas. Let's scroll down. Surface type will be weight painted. Now we don't have a vertex group for this. So let's go back into the vertex area. I'm just going to remove all these. These came with a scatter add-on. Create a new group. Let's left click on this and we will call it grass grow. Back into the physics. And we need to scroll down to output and change the vertex group from DP weight to grass grow. From here, let's select our sphere, dynamic paint. Let's change this from canvas to brush, add brush. The paint is gonna change from mesh volume to proximity and the distance I'm gonna to set to about two. And now if we right click on our plane and we go from object mode up the top to weight paint and we come back to the start and we slowly scale up. We can see that it doesn't go red straight away. So red means that it's fully painted 100%. We kind of get this, you know, radius coming out of it. Excellent, that is exactly what we want. I'm just gonna go change from weight paint back into object mode. I'm gonna control S, make sure I've got this saved now. And we're gonna go to cache and let's now bake. And now that we've got it baked, we can go to the particle system. Let me just get rid of all these particle systems. They came with a scatter add-on. Let's create a new particle system. Let's just create a hair. And we can see here that the hair is everywhere. I'm gonna come down into vertex group and length. We're gonna put in our grass grow and we can already see that is where our sphere has passed. Let's come down into render, change the path to collection and our instance collection will be grass assets. And you can see that they're fairly small. However, I want it a bit bigger. And so now when we come back to frame zero, we can watch as the grass kind of grows. Obviously the sphere's in the way, which is slightly annoying. So let's come over into the object. Viewport display, we'll change this from textured down to wired. And visibility, we don't want it to show in our renders, so we're only gonna see that. Now let's just put a texture on our plane. I actually think we could probably make these grass assets now a little bit bigger. Kind of come back into the particle settings. Let's just make them really stand out in there. Bump up the scale randomness. And that means we can pump it up even more. We've got some weeds in there. Um, I think the material here is too big. So I'm gonna come into UV editing. Let's select everything on the left, scale by four-ish. Come back into layout. How's that look? That looks a little bit better, but we kind of get the gist of what it looks like. So now if we come into camera view, I'm now just gonna quickly render this out. Render, render animation, and let's let it go. And there we have it. A little bit janky, but we got what we wanted. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. Please check out the other channel, Soft Body. And until next time.